In this video, let's create this beautiful motion graphics in Inkscape. First of all, I'll modify the document to a 200 by 3000 pixels. Make sure you have enabled snapping. Select the rectangle tool and draw rectangle. Change its color. Now select the text tool, type in something, let's change the font, go to text and font and I'll select source code pro and apply and I'll change the color to a black, almost black. Place it on the page, hold shift to resize it, duplicate. Now rename it, Control D to duplicate again, now select everything, go to object align and distribute and make sure you have last selected and distribute it with even vertical gaps. Let's create a shape. Hold shift and draw a rectangle, a, a square. Hold shift and press that color to give a stroke and X to remove the fill. Resize it. Control D to duplicate. Rotate it and make it smaller while holding Control and Shift. Repeat the process. And make it even smaller. The shortcut to duplicate is Control D. Now let's select the star icon and give it around 18 corners. Hold Control and Shift to draw this. Place it along the side. Duplicate the text. And let's turn off snapping and then add another text. Duplicate it again. Select everything and make a duplicate and place it in the bottom. Now let's make it into one object by going to path union, duplicate this and let's get the intersection. Hold shift and select those and press enter. Now change its color. Now we have only the intersected path. Let's convert all this into a path. Select everything except the yellow box. Now union. Now let's save this. Make sure you have selected as a plain SVG. Go to friction. Let's create a new composition. A vertical one with 100 frames. Import a file, the file that we edited, place it in the middle of the canvas, let's rename it, duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D like 5 times, select one and go to the rotation and rotate it slightly. Do this for every layer. This will be your starting position of these. Select everything and apply a shadow. Every layer has a shadow now. Select one and adjust the shadow. 
click that to make it into a layer and now you can adjust the shadow do the same thing for other layers as well I'll make this a bit faster now let's give a, back, a blur for every object but first let's reduce the opacity select all and give a blur now under raster effects you will have a blur as well let's remove the blur for the first layer under raster effects let's remove the defect for the first one since we don't need it and let's adjust the blur for rest of the layers make it progressively higher when we go down now let's create the animation we have the slider in the zero position let's create a keyframe for the Y for the first layer now go to the hundred frame and change the Y position what this will do is from 0 to 100 it will adjust the Y I'll hide all the others and click play or press spacebar now you can see it is animated so we repeat the same process for all the other layers on the zeroth frame select the transform translation key and go to the hundred position and adjust it you can use the canvas to adjust just like I did and repeat the process for all other layers as well and if you play you can see it will be animated now let's render this go to render and click that button and you have the scene I'll keep it as it is and the output you can give it an mp4 or a preferred format and I'll deselect the audio now we can render this so that's how you create this simple animation hope you enjoyed and learned something new thank you for watching